Uh, epilepsy is a, a chronic condition in which people are prone to seizures. Uh, a seizure is an episode of abnormal firing of neurons in the brain. Epilepsy can be due to a variety of causes. It could be an infection of the brain, a stroke, or a brain tumor, or abnormalities of blood vessels can cause epilepsy. Some people have epilepsy for no describable reason, and we call that idiopathic epilepsy. About 1% of the population actually has epilepsy, and uh, a much higher number than that have a risk of having one seizure in their life. The symptoms of a seizure can vary significantly, and it really all depends on what part of the brain is involved in the seizure. We often think of seizures as involving uh, jerking of the arms and legs with biting of the tongue and foaming at the mouth, but not all seizures are of that pattern. Anything from a staring episode to a strange sensation, sometimes it can be just a feeling of nervousness or anxiety. Really any episode that seems out of the ordinary could potentially be a seizure. The classification of seizures is constantly changing. Right now the official classification includes uh, multiple seizure types. One is called primary generalized. Primary generalized means that a seizure begins in both hemispheres of the brain at the same time. Then there are partial seizures. A partial seizure or a focal seizure is a seizure that begins in one hemisphere. A focal seizure may or may not then spread to the other hemisphere and become a secondarily generalized seizure. Then there are also absent seizures, which are the seizures that children often have where they have staring spells and, and some eye fluttering and they tend to happen for a few seconds multiple times a day. There are a lot of treatment options available for epilepsy, and epilepsy treatment has come a very, very long way. Now we have well over 20 medications available, which we can tailor to the patient's needs. In patients who are not well controlled even on medications, uh, we have other uh, more advanced treatments available, uh, such as surgical options. What we do in the epilepsy monitoring unit is we admit a patient and we do EEG monitoring for several days. And that is far more accurate than doing a standard 20 to 60 minute uh, EEG. What an EEG is, it's, it's uh, electrodes that are put uh, on the head, just on the skin, it's non-invasive, and it uh, records the brain waves. And it can tell us uh, a great deal about a person's brain function and it can also tell us whether or not they have epilepsy, and if so, what kind they have. And it can further tell us which part of their brain is generating the seizures, and also what treatment options would be ideal for that patient. The standard uh, stay in the epilepsy monitoring unit is three to four days. And in that three to four day period, we can gather all of that information and can give them answers that they've been looking for for decades or sometimes their entire life. In order for a patient to access the EMU, all they need to do is ask their physician to send us a referral and our scheduling office will contact the patient and take care of the rest. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.